Hello! This is a dosing tutorial for the Backsnap Safety Syringe. The unique technology of this syringe necessitates a slightly different draw up procedure than what you may be used to. Simply put, you will draw extra fluid into the syringe and then return the excess back into the vial. Please make sure that as you do the draw up, you do so in accordance with your facility's policies and procedures and best practices. Please also note that for this demonstration, I am focusing on the mechanics of the process and not focusing on any sterility concerns. In taking a look at the syringe as it comes out of the package, you will notice that there's a gap between the end of the rubber gasket at the base of the plunger and the internal needle hub. This is necessary prior to draw up because pushing the plunger all the way to the end will engage the safety feature prior to your medication draw. For this demonstration, I'm going to draw up two cc's of fluid. Prior to going into the vial, I'm going to pull the plunger back to get some air into it so when I go into the vial, that air will displace the fluid that I'm going to remove from the vial. Now, as I go into the vial, I push out that displacement air, being very careful not to push the plunger all the way down. And this is where I draw in more fluid than what I really need. Now I have extra fluid, tap out any air bubbles. and get right to my 2cc target point and I am properly dosed. Now, when I complete the injection, I'm going to push the plunger all the way in. You will hear a little click. You'll feel it as well. That safety feature is now activated. At this point, when I pull the plunger back again, you're going to watch the entire needle assembly pull back into the barrel. That's what makes it safe. Now we snap the plunger off at a 90 degree angle and we've got a safe finished device.